What is up, Pokemon fans? I'm Real Breaking Nate. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day, sending some positive vibes in your direction. I'm here at Walmart, and they have a brand new Pokemon Mystery Power Cube that could be one of the worst mystery power cubes and power boxes released so far. It's not looking good, but I'm gonna take one for the team, guys. I'm gonna take one for the team, for the PokeFam Nation. I'm gonna go inside right now. I'm gonna grab one. We're gonna take it home. We're gonna open it up, and we're gonna see just how bad this thing actually is. But you know what? There could be something good inside of it. I could be completely wrong, but so far, it's not looking good. So let's go inside right now. Both me and you, let's go on this little adventure, and let's get this brand new mystery power cube. Let's. Do it. Okay guys, so we are in here in Walmart right here in the card section and right here, right down here, they have it. The brand new Mystery Power Cubes. But we're gonna buy one and we're gonna see that we're not gonna get any of these cool cards that are on the front right now. So let's go ahead and spend, what is it, 20? $20 for this, $20 for this, this is crazy. We could actually go ahead and, and get this Alolan Vulpix Pokemon Center plushie for $20. That would be worth it, that would be worth it. This not so sure not so sure i will eat my words if there is something good in here so let's go ahead and buy it let's spend that 20 dollars. let's go home open it up and not get a first edition shadowless charizard let's do it all right pokey fam nation we are back here at home we just picked up our brand new mystery power cube from walmart you can see it right here and man this is rough guys this is rough Right off the bat, we are seeing a Charizard base set first edition shadowless. Look at this, shadowless nonetheless, a Pikachu gold star, and a secret rare ultra ball. Arguably some of the rarest cards in the Pokemon TCG. And first edition Charizard base set shadowless, some could say that that is the most rare Pokemon card of all time, at least in the English set. And just look at this, look at this right here. This retails for $20. And I thought the last Mystery Power Cubes were bad because they at least came with, they at least came with Dollar Tree Booster Packs. That's not good. That's not good by any means, but they at least came with Booster Packs. And this time around, we're not even getting Booster Packs. Look at this right here on the front. Right here on the front, it says three foil cards and 60 common cards. Now, if you go around to the back right here, you have to read this very carefully. Don't let this confuse you. Every cube includes 60 common cards and three foil cards, or, or is the keyword right there, two foil cards and an EX, GX, or special card. Now, what they consider a special card, I have no idea. And so you're either gonna get three foil cards or two foil cards and an EX, GX, or special card. And they are considering reverse hollows to be foil cards. So you might not even get any rares inside of this mystery cube. But look here on the side right here, you see some more gold stars, a base set Blastoise, um, first edition Charizard right there on the side again. And I would like to see right here on the side, this is packaged by MJ Holding Company. Everything inside of this is legit Pokemon products, but it is put together by MJ Holding Company. And I would like to see here on the side, let me read here for a minute. It doesn't say anything about the odds of pulling one of these cards right here or an EX, GX, or special card. I would like to see the odds on these um, going forward because it it's a little rough to spend $20 not knowing what you're going to get inside of this. Uh, so let's, let's just go ahead and let's face the music. I, I personally would not buy this if I did not have a YouTube channel. If I did not have a YouTube channel, I would not be buying this by any means necessary. I am strictly doing this so you guys have an opportunity to see what comes inside of this and then you can make the decision if you would like to get one of these or not. It, obviously, it's your money. You can buy whatever you want with your money. It's your money. But sometimes you like to get a little peek at what comes inside of this stuff before you go and spend your hard-earned money. Uh, I mean, you work for this money, so you want to make sure you're spending it on something good. So that's why I'm doing it as a service to you guys. And because I love you guys so much, um, I would rather me spend my money and waste my money than you guys uh, spend your money. Okay, and you, and you know, you end up wasting your money. So you do get, you do get this hard plastic case right here that you can store Pokemon cards inside of, which is nice. Um, so going into it, and we have styrofoam right here. That might be the most expensive thing inside of this. 
Um, and we have a Magnemite from the e-reader stuff right here. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. But it, does it does it um, equate to twenty dollars? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, and then right here we have a, a new L. And uh, over here we have some more cards. Let me pull them out. I have no idea what the rare stuff is supposed to be. We have a Cloister, a Venusaur EX. So we at least did get an EX inside of ours. And I'm actually really excited about that because I was not even expecting that. But it, it is just the promo. It is just the promo. So it's not like it's a super valuable card or anything along those lines. And a Sceptile Hollow. So luckily we were one of the few people to get the two foils plus the EXGX or special card. So I am happy about that. Is it worth $20? Probably still not in my book. The Cloister is a rare. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now we can just kind of go through this and see what else comes inside of it. And I mean, this is that's all you get the you get the paper right here. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at what all we have inside of this. Oh, look at this. We got Delta Species Ralts. That's actually really, really good. Um, let's go through here. Electrike. You guys can count and see if there's 60 cards or not. I'm not going to count. That's totally up to you. Piplup, Primplup, Carvana. That's really, really cool. Definitely digging that. Tangula, Wormadom, a Snubble hiding under the table. We have a Burmy, a Cottony, Ryolu, Gathita, Azumarill. I definitely love that. I love the, uh, the fairy and the water, both on one card. Electabuzz, Esper, Monferno, um, Nidoran, Oshawott, Tangula, Panchem, just laying in the leaves, having a good time. Uh, what else we got here? Phoebus. Have you guys got enough Phoebus? Um, or have you been able to evolve your Phoebus in Pokemon Go yet? Corsola, and I definitely don't have one of those in Pokemon Go. Metapod, Chinchow, Alolan Rattata. This always reminds me of Legend of Zelda for some reason. Just this this artwork right here and kind of Rog and Rolla in general just reminds me of Legend of Zelda. It's got that Legend of Zelda vibe to it. Cosmog, Rowlet, the Owl, a Torkoal, a Litten. Where's that Litten squad at? Dragonair, so majestic. Is it the Loch Ness Monster? Is it Nessie? All right, a pick a peck, Woody Woodpecker, Dratini, a lowland diglet with its three little hairs trying to mimic Psyduck. Back off of Psyduck. Psyduck's the only one that's allowed to have three hairs. We know that. A bound sweet, rescue stretcher, a dusk ball, which is pretty cool. Repel, repel away these bad cubes. A professor, uh, oh, Chimchar, Dragonair. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. More Delta species cards. Um, this is, we'll, we'll actually take a look at the, um, the condition of those Pineco, Shelter, um, and a Nincata. Now the Nincata is bent right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but let's take a look at this Dragonair. I think it did have a couple scuffs on it. Um, no, it, uh, it's, it looks like it's maybe, um, maybe like a drink has been spilt on it a little bit. At least I, I don't know if you guys can see that. It just looks like it has some like smears on it. Um, and then let's go back. I want to look at that Numel. And that Magnemite as well from the e-reader series. Now that one's actually really, really good condition, so that's not bad at all. And so is this new mail. That's that new mail is actually not bad condition. So I wanted to add this part in, and I know I'm in a different shirt. I don't have my hat on. I actually just got out of the shower, and I was thinking about this in the shower, and I think it's very important to add this part in. And it's fair to say the MJ Holding Company is a great company. They released some really fun and cool products in the past. I know I've bought plenty of them. I know you guys have bought plenty of them. This particular product, the brand new Mystery Power Cube, um, I don't think is up to par. It's definitely not up to par, but we all know that they've released some really fun and cool products in the past. Um, and even their customer service is really, really great. Uh, the last Mystery Power Cube that they released, I actually got an error one and I was missing a booster pack and they actually reached out to me and replaced my mystery power cube and that was super super awesome with them and they were very nice uh, the entire time that they were in touch with me so i think that that is very important to say that they are a good company this pr uh, particular product is just not the best it's just not the best and of course that's my opinion and i know you guys got your own opinions that are watching as well and i would definitely love to hear them down in the comment section down below and maybe even some suggestions on how to make the future mystery power cubes even better i think that 
would be a really good idea. PokeFam Nation, like I said, the end result is up to you because it's your money. You can totally do whatever you want with it, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think this is worth $20? Are you going to go out and pick yourself up one? That's what I would like to know. But either way, even though it's not the best of Power Cube, I had a great time opening it up with you guys today. The best part of any video that I do is getting to hang out with every single one of you amazing people. Guys, if you have some time, check out last Friday's video where we went to the store and we hunt for hidden Pokemon cards. We found a hidden box and there was a hyper rare inside of it. It was a great video. You gotta check it out. And until tomorrow, I will see all of you, all of you amazing people in the next video. Peace, love, and a high five. Bam!